How to be a gamer with a wife. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even include the part of the, you know, I have a wife too. I, I think the wife actually helps though. That's the issue. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Diaphone. Now this video is gonna be a little different. I don't talk about this much, but on top of doing content creation and competing at the highest level in a few different games, I also have a full-time career. I have my master's and my certification in a field called industrial hygiene. And I use that to serve as full-time advisor um, in the field. And I get the question a lot, Diaphone, how do you manage all these priorities, content, competing, and career? I'd like to kind of talk about that today. So I think the first thing that it comes down to is proper management of time. Now, this is something I think that sounds easier than it actually is, but let's be realistic. Fighting games, like any other type of skill, the amount of hours you put into it, the better you're going to be, right? Sometimes it seems like you, you have an inherent disadvantage because you're, you're juggling a lot of priorities. So because everyone could potentially put more hours into the game than you, it kind of seems like you're disadvantaged, but I don't think so. I think not all the time playing the game is equal. And I think a lot of people don't practice something, it's called deliberate practice, um, where people don't focus on key activities that will make you succeed in these fields, right? I'm a big believer in the 80-20 rule, the Pareto principle. It basically states that for many different outcomes, um, roughly 80% of the consequences or 80% of your success in any given field, including, you know, fighting games, comes from 20% of the causes, right? Which means that if you focus on a few key things, then you can kind of maximize your time, right? I think maximizing your time is, is really key, right? So for me, what does that look like? I think a lot of people play way more ranked than me, where I think I have more emphasis on certain matches right so i try to enter tournaments because again my goal is to win tournaments right and i also try to have longer sets of players with my skill level and also review footage as opposed to just mindlessly grinding rank i think that's more effective i know other top players kind of think the same thing and if i do play ranked it's it's a very specific goal of mine right it's i'm playing ranked because i want to try out this new combo or i want to try out this new concept and see if it's actually viable against random johnny donuts and and ranked right i think a lot of people get into the trap of of, hey, I'm going to play this game to procrastinate or I'm going to play to waste time and not necessarily have a goal in mind. And while that, you know, can improve, you know, I don't think it's as effective as, you know, using the, the time deliberately. I think it's also important to learn effectively. There's tons of books on the subject, but my TLDR is if you have fun, you're very curious with your exploration. You're very consistent with your practice. So instead of, you know, playing a crap ton for one or two days and then taking like a long break, you know, I try to focus on like one or two hours hours every day and it's again always having that purpose always play with deliberateness um and even on the content side right like i might stream less or upload less than the average person but i try to make the most of of what i do and have it you know well thought out right the other thing that time management is like learn to say no i mean it, you know in school and in career and fighting games i think being comfortable with saying no is is really important right fighting games this could be you know someone that wants to play a set for you, for you and you don't think it'll really benefit you like you don't owe anyone a set right <laughs> Like you should be playing it because you want to do it. Same thing with career. Like I've turned down opportunities because I knew it would cut into my work-life balance. It's all about, you know, making sure you're, you're true to yourself and sticking to your priorities and doing what you want to do. So I think this, the second key is avoiding burnout. I notice a lot of like content creators, a lot of people in the FGC, they're like, I'm gonna be the best or I'm gonna make content. And they do really well for like a short amount of time. They hit the gas too much and then they run out of steam, right? That's basically what burnout is. And that's not a very effective way to play, right? What's more effective? Going to the gym consistently every day over a long period of time or spending seven hours in a gym and then not going to the gym for the next six days, right? Like you just do the math that you need to have a consistent routine. And I think some other things that help avoid burnout besides just being consistent and not like overreaching are making things a habit so they become automated, right? So my daily routine is after I get home from work, I chill for a little bit, I eat, and then I play Strive or whatever game I'm focusing on at the time. And like, it's just automatic at this point, right? It's not something I have to like will myself to do. It's something that like, it just comes naturally because I've done it so many times, right? So it's about making a habit so you don't like get that willpower drain. The whole I fall into a lot is I see some people that are basically neats <laughs> and they play like 300 rank matches a day and I know I can't compete with that right and sometimes I want to compete with it like that guy's playing 300 games like I need to play 300 games and you know I can't do that 
And it's recognizing that like the most effective way to improve is to go your own pace. Like you can't look at others and see what they're doing because if you overextend, you'll burn out. So it's about like sticking to the maximum you can do, you know, maintaining your, how I say, consistency, right? So one of the keys for me is to make sure I have fun with the game, right? I literally go out of the way to make sure the game is fun. So for me, that's, you know, playing the games I want to play. That's playing the characters I want to play. So maybe I'm not picking the most top tier character, but I'm kicking a character that's fun to me because I know in the long run that'll help me avoid burnout and that'll help me to get better placements as opposed to picking a top tier character I don't enjoy. Maybe in the short term, it'll be good. But in the long term, I think it's a it's a losing strategy and it won't help me become a stronger player. All right, third thing is take care of your mental. It's very tempting when you're trying to grind multiple things to focus on short-term games, right? It's really tempting to cut down on sleep and like sleep five hours a day in order so I could play a couple extra hours of rank. And maybe that will help in the short term, but in the long term, you're going to be sleep deprived and you're not going to be able to learn as fast. It's also going to cut into your other activities that you're trying to trying to improve at. Right. So the way I rationalize is those a couple extra hours of sleep will help not just only in fighting games, but all the other things I want to do that it's beneficial for me to get, you know, seven, eight hours of sleep. Same thing with working out. I'd make sure I work out every day. And the way I rationalize it is when I'm working out, part of the reason I'm doing it is like I recognize that one hour workout plus two hour play game is going to be more progress for me and improving at fighting games and just playing three hours in, in the game, right? Because it's going to give me healthier minds, going to make me function at a higher level and the hours that I do play are going to be more effective, right? So even though I know it's stuff people don't want to hear, I think it's it's really beneficial. I think it's like almost a necessity if you need to, if you want to juggle multiple things at the same time is to mo make the most of your time. Another thing I'd say is like, get your IRL shit in order, right? Like, like let's say you're a student and you're playing Strive, but you have an essay due the next day how well are you gonna play where between every match you're thinking i should really do that essay that's not effective practice and the amount of people that use like a video game to procrastinate on what they should actually be doing is it's kind of mind-boggling and it's not something that will actually help you with but if you play with a clear mind you have your responsibilities in order you, you carve out a specific amount of time to stream or play a game you're gonna play play with a clear conscious you're gonna learn more effectively and your i'll show be in order to it's just a win-win-win all around right if you're really motivated to, to get good at fighting games use that motivation to do the other shit in your life that one will help your life but also help you learn fighting games better right and i also i think um you need a good way to how do i say like de-stress right so uh, there's a few things i do yoga meditation hiking i like the sauna as well journaling i occasionally do i think are all beneficial to your mental you just have to figure out what works best for you right but you have to give yourself room to think about the game you have to give yourself room to decompress and this kind of goes into like, you know, again, optimal learning, optimal performance. But I, I think you kind of have to do these things in order to like, you know, squeeze out every ounce of advantage you can, because again, you're going to be playing less time than, than other people. Um, The last thing I would say is like, look for cross synergies between fields. So one of the reasons I got into streaming was so I can make better presentations. I recognize that like, even like back when I was in school, I was really bad at like giving reports to class or hosting a meeting, for example, or giving like a, a presentation and doing stream Streaming has helped me so much with that, right? And so it's like I can leverage skills from one area to another. It's kind of the same thing, like vice versa, right? So some of the things that I, I do in my career is like I have a really heavy focus on risk management, right? And I also do a lot of data analysis. And those are two things that I can apply to my content and I can apply to improving a fighting games, right? So there's certain things that you're going to have a distinct advantage over um, because of what you do in school or what you do in, in work that you can apply it to your hobbies and it's like a uh, your own unique advantage right so make sure you take advantage of that i think it's uh i think it's really essential so anyways um yeah let me know what you think about that that is a little more personal i know it's uh, a little more abstract um but i honestly do think that like if if you are trying to juggle multiple things not everyone that listens to this channel is a neat <laughs> i think this is really important for learning to improve in fighting games this is kind of managing your priorities and and succeeding in multiple areas in life one thing i know this is like and one thing i think about a lot is you know if i was doing this full time and like i didn't have a secondary income to to rely on or, or whatever i'd be a lot more nervous when i play right like i wouldn't have the the confidence that i do like you know if i how would i say like if i lose a tournament my life's not over like i don't have to worry about you know not being able to make rent because i i can't win the match i just go in with my full my full effort i have fun and i enjoy it right and i, I think there's a lot of benefits to that having how would i say multiple 
multiple priorities. And I, th I think, you know, taking advantage of that is essential and best of luck to you guys. It's, it's a lot of work. I can't lie. And uh, um, but I know you guys can do it. So hope this hope this helped. Anyways, um, if you like this kind of content, please consider like, share, and subscribing. It helps out the channel. Helps me make more content like this. Consider leaving a comment down below if you have your own tips on how to, how to juggle these kind of things. You know, I, I'm learning. I've talked to other other people doing this this sort of thing too, and we have we all have our like own little take on it. But I think the core fundamentals are pretty similar. So I'd like to hear from you guys what what you do too. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.